Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. It's Terry. And welcome to another edition of an Orchid a Day. Today is Sunday, the end of the weekend, and I've been really getting things in order. I got my windows finally washed. I did that last weekend. Finally got my new shelf in here. I am convinced that I will be able to get more plants on these shelves rather than these type of tiered plant shelves that sit in here. I'll definitely have to find another spot for that other shelf, but this will be perfect here. If I choose, it's got places for a grow light there, which is there, and also uh, I believe I can hang one here, but I'm not really concerned with that. It's just a place to house my plants um, here in the greenhouse, the sunroom, whatever you want to call it. More blooms opening on this. And I'm still torn. These are supposed to be the same plant, right? Still torn. I guess there is that yellow in the background. The lip is what's throwing me. Thought it was the same, but the more that I look at it, the more different that it gets. Another bloom there on my Vita Lee. And this is really good news. This is a recent acquisition that I just got. I believe I got this in my first order from Orchid Trail. Uh, and I will put a link up to the video if you haven't heard of Orchid Trail. But I guess it's a little late now because they're defunct. But you can always look back at my haul. But you can see that it is putting out that new leaf. And it's got new roots coming. And that is what they said when they, when they, when I re they replied to me my inquiry about this Sylvanacophia. They more or less said that it was uh, the, le the roots looked shabby, but it would be okay. And they were definitely right about that. Before I go, and I think that I may be on live this afternoon, but I wanted to share with you another bloom here on this Rangus Elro coming to the end. And I got a bloom open here on this Erangus, which is Mysticidii crossed with. Uh, Kachskiana, there's the tag. Meister City is a Madagascan epiphyte, a miniature epiphyte from more or less in sea level, but they can take cooler temperatures. They have a wide range of temperature tolerance. Uh, very small plant, um, fragrant night flowers, uh, white likes year-round moisture, likes to dry out in between, but year-round moisture, shade, a little bit more sun at the beginning of spring. They do get a little bit of a dormancy. And Kachkiana is from South Africa, all parts of South Africa. It is a larger sized Eride, Erangus, I'm sorry, a species still epiphytic, grows on trees often near streams, uh, but high up in the canopy of the trees where it gets more dappled sun in the summer. Uh, but again, it gets you around water. Does get a little bit lessening in the winter time, but never allowed to dry out for too long. Um, Kachkiana's flowers are often described as like they have that bird in flight with the long spur and the flowers that are reflexed back. Sort of looks like the dragon. Kind of like my, well, it's not like my Gungor. Almost similar to this. But that has more influence of Modesta Alicii, which is the other species in this hybrid of Elro is more of a bird in flight. But yeah, I just wanted to share that with you. And 
Thanks for watching, folks. And enjoy your orchids. Bye.